So today we're going to talk about another species of fish that we're going to talk about how to care for and all the necessary needs to keep them happy. So today will be the German, German Blue Rams, which is kind of a new addition, especially to this tank, because as you know, if you guys have been watching, we all, we had a Amazon puffer in here, which is no longer here. And for the time being, this tank's kind of just, you know, I want to say random, but it's not, you know, the it doesn't have a huge selection of fish. What we have in here right now is, you know, a big school, 1520, I forget, um, of auto sinkless. And we got one zebra loach, which just controls this. You know, you can see these dead snails. Um, kind of had a snail problem and um, got out of hand, so I got him eating all the snails. He's been doing a great job. You can actually see him coming up. He'll get a separate video. He just never comes out. and So it's kind of hard to get a video on him. But today we're going to talk about these two guys, German Brew Lambs. These are both males that I have here. I'm get the focus here I'm pretty I'm pretty 100% positive these are both males um female when it comes to rams females and males do that you can really tell very well so it's easy to breed um I'll, we'll talk about those conditions on how to breed them um, later on in the video but I wouldn't say it's easy but it um one of the hardest things about breeding is, you know, getting that male to female ratio and knowing if it's even a male or female. And it's really hard that most people can't tell unless you, you know, you absolutely know you've bre been breeding for years and you just know. So it is hard to tell, but from the looks of these, um, uh, females usually have a really red um, belly and they're usually not as, the, the more lighter in color, they're, they're not going to be as, you know, vibrant in colors like the males are right here. But I guess let's talk about, you know, the basics. Um, Size-wise, you'll probably buy these fish at about one inch, maybe one and a half. And then these guys will usually reach about two, two and a half. They usually don't get much bigger than that. They're great for, you know, um, I wouldn't say small tanks, but they're great for, you know, decent-sized tanks like 20 like I have here. Um, which this is a 20 rimless, as you can see. Um, these guys are great. They're Obviously, they are cichlids, so you might be wondering, are they aggressive or not? They're not aggressive at all. The only aggression you're going to see out of these guys are towards themselves. Um, mine, will it's definitely from being males, both being males, they definitely will kind of nip at each other and kind of chase each other here and there. You know, they do, obviously, obviously you can see now, they do perfectly fine being together, but they do kind of get a little nippy sometimes. But when it comes to other fish, they're, they'll do great in community tanks. Obviously, every fish is different, so trying... So something might not work in your tank, but for the most part, these are very peaceful cichlids. They're one of the um, most peaceful you can get, especially at their size. Um, the only other really options are, you know, like electric blues and a pistos. I don't know. Yeah, pistos, I wouldn't really... S yeah, they're cichlids. What am I saying? Um, but those are kind of the three species um, that you can... That will work in a community. This this doesn't have much in it, so it's not the biggest problem. But as you can see, they they do perfectly fine together, and they'll do perfectly fine with most um, any other community fish, tetras, reservoirs, corridors, any bottom feeders. They don't mess with them, so you won't even have to worry about it. Now, glass is kind of dirty, but um, temp. If we talk about breeding, this kind of will tie in the breeding. Temperature-wise, it is best to have these guys in warmer waters. Um, warmer water meaning 80 to 82 degrees, maybe even a little higher, maybe 83. But that's not necessarily, um, you don't necessarily need to do that. If Most people keep it about 78 degrees, 79. Um, that's perfectly fine, and that's what I got it up. I got them at but if you definitely want to get some breeding action out of these guys um definitely you're gonna to have to definitely dump it up to um 82 degrees um that's gonna get the best out of these fish and that's what it's gonna really activate their breeding and you'd also want some type of cave or even stone caves usually work better as i see um but something that they can lay their eggs on and they usually like to have caves anyway to hide um 
they're very active fish when they come they like right 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 now they usually come out and swim but they definitely feel more comfortable and then they start breeding more when they have stuff place to hide so that's just you know a heads up but feeding wise i mean they, these guys will eat anything just like in your in your other community fish pellets flakes obviously we always recommend the highest the highest quality food you know there's no point in getting bad food for your fish it's just you're not going to get the full color out of them they're not going to you you want them to grow up and be healthy and big so you, it's not that expensive to get good quality food um there's a lot of good foods out there norfin um what do i use i use actually i, I like to feed the fluval bug bites those work really well there's there's a lot of different options that these guys will eat but one i guess the other thing that you kind of have to be concerned about is um definitely keeping up on your wa water quality this tank it it's looking kind of weird on camera right now just because the glass is dirty but definitely i mean this tank um you definitely want to do a weekly test and eat it's just like when i had my amazon puffer the littlest changes like the littlest amount of ammonia it just messes up fish like this and so you need to always be alert um on your levels if, if you can't really do that then you at least need to do do water changes weekly about 50 percent every week or 40 50 is what i would say um of a weekly water change just keeping up with your water changes because you let your um your ammonia um really and your levels get out of control then you're gonna see what happens and it's not gonna be pretty so um every all the fish are gonna act crazy and it'll, it'll eventually lead to death if you don't do anything about it so definitely definitely um be checking make sure don't don't like most people don't have, if you're starting a tank don't use these as your first fish definitely wait wait you know until the tank is cycled to put a fish like this here they're really sensitive so the whole conclusion of all this is they're very sensitive so just kind of wait until you add a fish like this because they are a great centerpiece in a community tank so you know you could definitely wait until you put um a pair or two in um in your tank now, t I guess the last thing I kind of mention is kind of the whole tank setup. Um, Plant a tank is best. I mean, you could do anything, but these fish are really going to do well. Their colors are really going to show. I was thinking about putting them in my 40, but at the same time, like, this is a too good looking of a fish to have in a tank that's, you know, nothing, just rocks. So, <clears throat> a plant tank like this that I have, you know, super vibrant and green and these guys just look great under um that light green the colors really pop and with the you know the back the black be, um the back of the tank being black um really just pops out these guys colors so you, you really want to do these uh, fish justice because these are some of the best looking fish i would put them as top five for a freshwater fish these these guys will look amazing once they color up fully um and tank size like like i said before they this is a 20 rimless if you have kind of a setup what i have you know fish wise they'll do perfectly fine in a 20 but if you're definitely having a lot more fish in here and you have a full-on community tank um you definitely have to rank it up to maybe a 30 40 and so on depending on what you want to do um a 20 is just not going to do it um but if you have you know a single pair and you have some bottom feeders like i do yeah th these guys are basically the only fish in here um so they do perfectly fine in this tank, but I wouldn't go any lower. Um, they definitely need their space, and having more space level lowers their aggressiveness. So, just like any cichlid, the more space, the better. Um, you have a tiny tank and put cichlids in there; they're gonna start making territories, and it's just gonna go downhill from there. So, that's your blue rams. They're really easy to care for. I mean. A beginner can do them they're really not that hard you know as long as long as you just keep a check on everything these guys are a great addition to any plant tank or any community tank they're definitely a great um centerpiece fish they're just so loaded in color that they're definitely going to attract the eye w way more than these other fish but other than that thanks for watching and i'll see you guys